During the fall of 1952, Operation Mainbrace began in the waters near Denmark. This is the first large-scale naval exercise undertaken by NATO since World War II. The planning of Operation Mainbrace was initiated by General Dwight D. Eisenhower prior to his resignation as NATO's Supreme Allied Commander so he could run for President of the United States. 80,000 men, over 200 ships, and 1,000 aircraft participated in Mainbrace. That much military power in one location was sure to get the attention of everyone on Earth. But did it also grab the attention of beings not from Earth? Assembled in the Clyde, as well as in the Firth of Forth, Allied warships taking part in Exercise Mainbrace provided a formidable spectacle. Fleet Commander at Sea was a distinguished officer of the United States Navy, Vice Admiral Stump. Of course, one of the main objects of the maneuvers was international cooperation. Thanks for watching Paralopedia. I'm Jason from Parafalls.net, and today we're looking at Operation Mainbrace. On September 13th, 1952, barely one day into Operation Mainbrace, is when the first UFO sighting took place. A commander and several crew members aboard the Danish destroyer Willemos in the Baltic Sea witnessed a luminous triangle-shaped object moving at high speed above the water, close to the main fleet of ships. The object traveled westward and then suddenly turned southeast. On September 20th at 7.30 p.m., three Danish officers witnessed a shiny disc-shaped object come out of the water and pass over their ship. The UFO was said to move east at a high rate of speed and then disappear into the clouds. This was not the only sighting on September 20th. There had also been one at 11 a.m. that morning. That sighting was made by an American press photographer aboard the USS FDR named Wallace Litwin. Him and several crew members aboard the FDR saw a metallic, spherical object come out of the water nearby and shoot skyward. Litwin was able to snap a photo before the object was out of sight. The next day on September 21st, six British pilots saw another metallic and spherical object above the North Sea. The object was headed in the direction of the fleet. The pilots chased after the object, but it was moving far too fast for them to catch. There are countless UFO sightings out there, but I find the main brace UFO sightings very impressive. This isn't just because of how many sightings there were within a short amount of time, but because of who had made them. I personally don't believe anyone on Earth had the technology at the time to do what these things were said to do. I still don't think we have the technology. But just say this technology did exist back then. Who had it? And why test it out in the most likely place to have it discovered? If this was some kind of super powerful, super secretive weapon controlled by someone, why show it off and have it discovered? And if this technology did exist back in the 1950s, why hasn't it shown up in any war or commercial application since? If you really think UFOs are the work of humans, please leave a comment below. I would love to hear your explanation. If you like this video, be sure to check out Parafalls.net for more on this and anything else paranormal related. There you can also find links to the Smoke and Mirrors podcast. Thanks for watching and remember, there's no reason to be normal when you can be paranormal. Take care.